Hi there. I'd like to talk about barbell etiquette or weightlifting etiquette. If you are newer to this sport, um, there's going to be certain nuances of being in a gym, being with people with the respect of the equipment that you might not know. So let's handle a few of those big ticket items right off the bat. The first one that we want to talk about is the proper way to handle a barbell. First and foremost, we do not drop empty bars. Barbells are often expensive, and while they are, yes, durable, that is under the assumption that they have rubber bumper plates on them to help absorb some of that impact. Repetitive dropping of an empty bar over and over is going to damage that bar, and the goal is to preserve these really uh, expensive and beautiful pieces of equipment as long as possible. Number two, do not step or walk over a barbell. Again, it's a respect issue. Most lifters, especially internationally, really view this as a sign of disrespect, uh, not only to your weightlifting hall, your team, your coach, but also to the sport itself. So no stepping over a bar. Next, ideally you should place collars on your bar. This is a safety issue, right? This is going to help fasten those plates to the bar so that as you are in the middle of a lift, they don't accidentally slide off, potentially putting you or other people in danger. So flip it up. Now let's talk about some behavioral type stuff. When you are training with other people in a weightlifting gym, you don't want to walk in front of somebody as they're lifting. The lifters often really, really focus. There are technical things that they are trying to focus on, or it may be a really demanding, challenging lift that they're trying to stay present for. Instead of walking in front of somebody, pause, wait, let them complete the lift, and then you can go or find an alternate route to get around them. Everybody's different in terms of how they like to behave in uh, their training, whether keeping quiet helps them focus a little bit more, whether they're a little bit more social and want uh, that banter to help get them through. The important part is that you are mindful and remind yourself that you are here to work. You're here to train. It's not social hour. So even if you have some nice friendly banter, save it for your accessory work, save it for the end of the workout. When you're here to train, particularly at the beginning, it's time to focus. So stay present to what you're doing, keep the conversation to a minimal, ask questions with your coach. If you have other athletes that are helping support you or giving you feedback, that's okay, but try to leave your extracurricular conversations for another time. Be supportive. Weightlifting's hard, and even though it's an individual sport, it's still very much team oriented. So when somebody is going for a big lift, take a pause, watch them, show them that you're supportive and you're attentive to what they're doing, and then like give them a thumbs up, a high five, or some fist bumps afterwards. It's important that we continue to um, help each other out morally by supporting our peers when they lift. Lastly, clean up after yourself. This is important. Uh, it is not your coach's job to make sure you're equipment gets put away. It is not the gym owner's job to make sure the equipment gets put away. So take the time when you're done training to make sure that your equipment gets wiped down if that's appropriate and gets put back in its place. Again, the weightlifting hall should be a sacred space where you come to better yourself. So let's make sure that we are taking care of it in the same way that it takes care of us.